May 24th will go down as the darkest day in their lives for people of Uvalde, including the Fierro family who thought they may never see their nine-year-old daughter again. I cried when I held them. I was able to hold them again. Uh, because I knew that a lot of people weren't going to, parents weren't going to be able to hold their children. He tells us about the chilling moments of his daughter's narrow escape. That they were in the cafeteria and when they did the drill, the little kids and the teachers turned off the lights and they all hid. And um, they hid behind the curtains of the auditorium. And by her account, she told my wife that they heard you heard somebody come in and say, come out, little children, come out, little children. It's OK. Is that what you heard? Mm -hmm. But y'all stayed still behind the curtain. Mm -hmm. They didn't come out because they weren't sure. You knew it wasn't policemen? Yeah. She told my wife that she knew that it wasn't the policemen. So the shooter actually went in there and asked, was asking them to come out. So he just walked in, he asked and then he walked out because I, I think a policeman was chasing him because uh, when, when the police, after he left, a policeman came in and went behind the stage and saw us. Both Martin and his wife spent their whole lives in Uvalde. They grew up with the other parents of the victims like one big family. They mourned the deceased like their own. This is just one of several memorial sites that have been set up across the town of Uvalde since that horrific tragedy. Day in and day out, people have been coming here, not just from nearby communities, but many cities across the nation to lay down flowers, gift cards, toys, to pay their respects to the victims. And the latest revelations on the missteps taken by law enforcement in response to the school shooting have only aggravated the anger and frustration among the community. So a lot of families were fighting to get in while they were, the, the shooter had an hour, almost an hour, 40 minutes, and, you know, people were fighting. And so, so the, there's a lot of questions right now. Making sure the school was locked and properly secured is the least that should have been done, they say, but they do expect a lot more. In my opinion, who wouldn't want to see a st stricter mandate or stricter concerning the gun violence? Not allowing anybody to just go by, you know, a young kid to go by.